Once I started painting in my sculpted oil style, I just couldn't go back to regular old painting. I fell in love with the rich, thick swirls of paint and the bold color. It was just so intoxicating. After graduating from art school, I moved to New York City. It was such an exciting time to be there. The East Village art scene was just exploding. I would run into Andy Warhol and Keith Haring just walking down the street. Andy came to my first show at Sensory Evolution Gallery. I was painting Crayola boxes, comic book covers, animal crackers, Dick, Jane, and Sally scenes. I was drawing on memories from my childhood and images of what was around me every day. It seemed like I was all over the place, but really what I was doing was creating a portrait of my own life based on the things that I love. One day I woke up and said, hey, it might really be cool to do this with other people. Make portraits not just sitting or standing around, but capturing what makes them unique, their memories that makes them special. I started calling them life portraits. Well, I have to say that the life portraits I've created over the recent years have been just such a joy. Here I am in front of my wall of fame, as I like to call it. A few years ago, I started printing out JPEGs of the portraits and putting them up on the wall. It's such a great feeling to walk into my studio in the morning and see all these wonderful people that I've gotten to know. People have taken me into their lives. They've shared their families, their memories, and most special of all, their dreams.